back. What's up guys? Today I'm going to be talking you through my workout. Started it off with five sets of wide grip pull-ups. As always, definitely recommend this. If you find wide grip pull-ups hard, move the grip in a bit or just start with pull-downs. This is the best way to get your back activated and it uses almost every single fucking muscle in the back. Therefore, you will develop a good back. Next, we moved on to the bent over rows, six sets. This is my all-time favorite. I remember when I started lifting, the only thing that ever grew was my lats. In my fucking bedroom, I did about 50,000 sets of this, and I loved it, and I've loved it ever since. I do three sets overhand grip, for more of the upper back, and then three sets underhand grip, like that, as you can see now. That is for more for the lats, the lower bit of the back. This is the perfect exercise, and I supersetted that with rear delt flies. Moving on, wide grip pull downs using this lovely grip that they've got. I love that. You can really feel it squeezing at the bottom of the lats and the yeah, oh, mmm, it's beautiful, it's man. It's beautiful. And then we supersetted that shit with some fucking face pulls. This is a brilliant, brilliant exercise for your traps and your rear delts. These are both, both usually lagging points. Well, they're lagging points on my body. Therefore, I hit them a lot. I fuck. I love face balls. They're also good for shoulder recovery if your shoulders are damaged from poor lifting from when you're younger, aka my life. Now this. <laughs> I'm naming it Rope Rose because that's what it's called Rope Rose and honestly it is you are guaranteed you've got to try this this is a sick fucking exercise look at my back you can see every muscle contracting using the rope just allows you to get a bigger squeeze you can pull, pull the weight further back towards your body straight arm pull downs pretty self explanatory you can see my lats exploding out of the bare muscle t-shirt absolutely fantastic and then moving on to preacher curls of course i preach i preach that preacher curls are the best thing to build your bicep smashing out the 18s here did about four or five sets can't quite remember but it was fun i enjoyed it yep Oh, look at that. Bang! 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 Good quality shit. That was super setted. I did it. I always do it at the end of my workout. Super a massive set. super set with something. Rear delt dumbbell flies. Again, working on the traps and the rear delts because they always need work. More preacher curls. Shrugs for the traps. Lagging, as I did say. They're super definitely coming up there. And then supersetted the shrugs, some hammer curls. I haven't. I'm bringing these back, so don't. I ain't done them for a while, but bring, I'm bringing them back. So I want my bicep to be thicker and fuller, and I also want my bronchialis to come out when I get a bit more shredded. So I'm almost coming to the end of the Christmas cut, so I'm getting a bit sad, but it means I can start eating a bit more food, which is good. And then this is the all-time best. Oh, this is the only thing I do for it. My abs, just seated dumbbell raises. I lift the weight above my body to, uh, yeah, fucking sit. And then I do some leg raises. That's the only two exercises I ever do for my abs. If you want abs, it's all about diet, all right, kids? Build them when you're bulking. Either way, anyway, two ways, three ways, forwards, backwards. Now we're getting to the end of the video. Enjoy the rest of the video. Have a great day. And I fucking love you. Subscribe. Peace.
Hello, what's up guys? Just showing you my lunch. Eight slices of eight slices of ham, four slices of chicken, and some beef in some sauce. Woo! Din no. Look at that. Oh. Beautiful. A mountain of beef. And Shah's got. Some potatoes, steak, and some cucumber. Fanta Zero. And the one and only DPZ. Peace. Fifi is setting it, settling in nicely. Behind the sofa somewhere. But anyway, yeah. Right, I'm gonna have the last in the pack of these Reese's. It's a broken hearted one. These are the best Oreos. I fucking love Oreos. These are the best ones. Peace.